Uh, just uh, first of all, uh, we know the Citadel is going to have a good year. They're much improved. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're going to be a good basketball team. Uh, they're like us, they're a work in progress, but they're, um, you know, they got a lot of pieces of the puzzle. And um, tonight, uh, they, we, we were, I told our team, uh, a desperate team is a dangerous team. And I just congratulate our guys. We, we played with a sense of urgency. Uh, we played with a sense of focus. Uh, we played with uh, the confidence that, we, that I thought we've had. I knew we had. Uh, our schedule's been tough. And I knew our schedule would do one of two things. I knew our schedule would either refine us or break us. And uh, we've played some, a very, very, very difficult schedule, the 22nd best schedule in the country in preparation for games like this. And uh, we have immense respect for the Citadel and the teams on our schedule. Uh, and, we, and we knew playing the Arizonas and the Alabamas and the Charlottes and the people like that would prepare us for the difficult games uh, that, we, that, that were ahead. Mark, this is kind of the breakout kind of performance you've been waiting on? It really is. It really is. And, you know, our guys, our guys don't flinch. They haven't flinched. They've come to work every day. Um, we, we've been preaching big picture, see the big picture, see the big picture. Uh, Arizona's undefeated, Charlotte's undefeated, uh, Alabama's got one loss at Cincinnati. We've, College of Charleston's unbelievably terrific. And we knew, we knew that that was going to prepare us for uh, games like this, for the Citadels and the Big South teams that, that we compete against. Uh, and and it, we were, we were, that's the best we've played all year. Coach, talk about, just stay right there for two questions. Talk about, uh, really, is this what you expected to see? Is this the kind of team you thought you'd have when your guards put it all together like this? I, I, think, I think when we play like that, you know, we're going we're gonna to be tough to beat for sure. Um, I, I, again, I knew our schedule would refine us or break us. And it's a credit to these guys. It has toughened us. And we, we were prepared. The schedule prepared us for good teams like the Citadel and the, and the, the Big South teams that we have to play. How big a positive is it for you to have this kind of game heading into a two-way break? Well, it's, it's, it's good for two, two groups. Uh, it's good for our team and really good for my wife. <laughs> she's, right. I've been moping around the house uh, quite a bit, and um, she's, she's, she's going to, you know, we got a happy husband for a couple weeks. And... Um, but as long as Mama happy, is happy, everybody's happy. But uh, we just needed it. We needed it. We needed to play like that. We needed a game like that where we played well. And, and you know what? We've played well in the other games, too. We played terrific against the College of Charleston. We played terrific against Arizona and Alabama. And, uh, you know, those are some high-quality opponents. And, and, and Citadel's a great opponent. And we just – the schedule, the toughness of the schedule has prepared us. Um, like Coach said, I'm um, uh, – Felt like uh, the schedule would either refine us or break us, but um, we got some tough kids in the locker room with a lot of heart. So uh, you know, we we just take every every game one one game at a time, and uh, we just come out and fight like it's the last game. Every game, you can't you can't change the past. You know, you lose one, you got to shake it off, come ready for the next one. I felt like um, we bounced back tremendously from that CFC loss and uh, we put two great wins together. So it seemed like uh, first it was Arlen, then it was you, then it was Sexton. You all sort of took turns in that first half. Uh, yeah, um, I mean, it's just it's, it's good to play with, with guys that can score, make, create their own shot and create a shot for others. So when I'm in the game, I just try to play off of my teammates. You know, I try to get them going because when I get them going, it's way easier for me, to, for me to do what I do. So once I come off the screen and find my big man, next time I come off the screen, everybody's helping. I got an open shot for myself. So I'm just playing off my teammates and making the smart plays. Uh, no, I don't think we lost any confidence, but I do think we gained a, a sense of urgency. Uh, we, we we look on paper and we see that two and five record, and we know that's not us. So um, I think we're pretty determined to come out here and get a big win in front of our home crowd. Well, did you always wear the long sleeves? Um, yeah, sometimes. Uh, it, it was. Um, I wasn't really feeling well today. I, I kind of had um, was coming down with some something like a little cold and um, and shoot around. I was actually shooting around and I felt. You know, um, cold and, and my body felt weak, so I just put on the long sleeve just to try to um, 
feel comfortable and get back into my old self. So what do you think? You gonna wear them now? Uh, 11 to 14. Hey, if we can, if we can keep getting wins and play the way we play, I might have to. All right, I'm good. Saw so real quickly. Thank you, thanks, Jeff. Saw so real quickly. Uh, what's it like to get our line going on one side and, and Jeremy going on the other side of you? Uh, it's great. It's great because the defense doesn't know where where the edge at. You know what I mean? Like they don't know where to help off at. So, I mean, I throw it to Arlon one time, and he he hits four shots in a row. Now that now when I when I pump fake to Arlon, the whole defense shifts. I throw it to Jeremy. He's wide open for a three. And he's probably the best uh, spot up shooter on our team. So, I mean, either way, we have a great shooter on each side. How do you guys get refocused? You got two weeks off now to get ready for ETSU, and you look like a different team tonight. Can you have a different mindset moving forward? Oh uh, yeah, I think we I think we got a lot a lot more confidence. I mean, we're a pretty confident team, but I think tonight showed us how dangerous we could be and how good we could be uh, in our conference and even out of our conference. And moving forward, we're just going to try to play with the same confidence, the same energy. And uh, if we keep hitting shots like we, keep, like, we, like we did tonight, then, I mean, no telling who's going to be able to stop us. Night, guys. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good job, guys. <clears throat>